This is the Advanced Modules Overview video for Instant Atlas Server. This video will provide you with an overview of the functionality available in the Advanced Data Views and Advanced Profiles modules of Instant Atlas Server. These modules are extensions of the Data Views and Profiles modules and provide enhanced functionality for your end users. Typically, they're aimed at the more advanced users of this system, such as data analysts, and they're often configured to only be available to those users once they are logged in. Both modules are accessed via a step-by-step -step wizard in which you choose available parameters with which to build up your data view or profile. Let me demonstrate with the advanced data views module. By clicking the button on the home page, we're taken to the first screen of this module. Here we select the geography of which, for which we wish to display our data view. Having selected wards as our geography, we click next to begin selecting those wards in our area for which we wish to view our data. You can select features in two ways, either by choosing them from the map or by using the list beside the map. Notice also that you may be able to select the areas by applying a filter for example, selecting all the wards in a particular district. In this case, the district of Bassett Law is selected. And this has updated our selection in both the map and the table. Having made our selection, we now choose click Next to start choosing our data. Data is selected in this screen on the left hand side box and moved over to the right using the middle arrow keys. You do this by first selecting the theme or sub theme of choice in order to view the indicators that are available under each theme. In this case, I will look under the theme of deprivation and select pension credit as my sub theme. This then fills the lower box with available indicators under the pension credit sub theme. I can then pick and choose the indicators that I'm interested in and then move them over to the right hand side box. If I wish to pick indicators from another theme, I can simply re-choose my sub-theme and pick further indicators and move them to the box. Having built up our indicator selection in the right hand side box, I can reorder the indicators using the up and down keys. This allows me to build up a completely custom view of our data. Once we're happy with the data we've chosen, we're taken to the final step in the wizard from where we choose our comparison areas. These are comparison geographies that are used to display alongside the features we've chosen. It is typical to want to display the regional or national value for our indicators in the table or dynamic report output so the figures can be compared. In this case, I'll choose England as my national comparator. Having clicked Next to continue, we can now see the results of the choices we made during the course of the wizard. A data view table has been created, showing the indicators chosen for the, for the features we had selected. The comparison areas appear at the bottom of the table. Like the table in the regular data views module, you can click on the column headers to sort the table. And you can also access the metadata by clicking the appropriate icon next to the indicator or the geography feature. There are various things we can now do with this table. The most important function is the ability to download the data so further analysis can be done perhaps in another software package. We support downloads into XML, Excel, or as a simple comma separated values file if you're not interested in any further formatting. If you don't want to download the data yourself, but perhaps wish to show a colleague or coworker this exact view of the table so they can gain access to, for example, the download functions, click the email link and this will generate a fully dynamic link allowing the recipient to return to this table of view. Finally, we also have a few output options, such as the ability to print the table, to chart the figures in the table, or to stream the data in the table 
into a dynamic report. For example, if I uncheck all the boxes and then select the first couple, uh, the first two indicators in the table here, and select a group of areas, we can click chart to display a bar chart of those figures. Care has to be taken that you choose the appropriate indicator to display alongside each other in the chart. There are also various chart options allowing you to change the type of the chart, the size and the style. This chart can now be clicked on, copied to the clipboard and pasted into a Word document.